Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free. You save as my daughter, Claudia, light of my life and heir to my throne. Follow me to my den and I shall reward you. Reward? I don't like doing this, Timon. What are you, nuts? We got it made from here on in. But we really didn't save the king's daughter. I didn't say we did. I just didn't say we didn't. You're taking advantage, Timon. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and you're just turning the bugs away, aren't you? I want to go out and play, Daddy. I want to go out and play. Oh, sorry, my dear. I must attend to affairs of state. You two protected her so well. Perhaps you'd be kind enough to be your bodyguards. Take her out for the day and see that no harm comes to her. Oh, gee, your highness, there's something you should know. <gasps> Yeah, we love the kid, and we'll take good care of her. Perform your duty well, and there may be a position for you in my royal court. But, Timon, we don't know anything about guarding bodies. What if something bad happens and she's in real danger? So we keep her out of trouble. It's a piece of cake. Besides, do you want to defy the king and his great big teeth? So, where would you like to go, kid? I don't get it. What's so fun about a big empty field? It's fun because you never know what you'll run into. Like what, a stray tumbleweed? There's nothing for miles. What's that funny rumbling noise? <gasps> uh oh! <laughs> Sorry, Timon, but I'm not your bodyguard! Wasn't that fun? Yeah, right. Let's do that again. This is my favorite tree. Isn't it humongous? So what's so special about this tree, anyway? It's the home of the world's largest python. <laughs> ah! Say, Timon, I told you something bad could happen! Bad. This is bad. The truth shall set you free. Never mind the truth. Somebody get the claws of life. Go on, Timon. Tell the truth. Or would you rather go with the princess on another field trip? All right, all right. Uh, excuse me, your royalty. I'd like to talk with you about this chaperoning thing. A moment, Timon. Well, I deal with some unfinished business. Guards! 
Bring forth the accused! It was your responsibility to look after my daughter this morning. But if not for the bravery of these two good Samaritans, she might have been seriously injured! You know the price for failing to perform your duty! Now, was there something you wished to ask me? Do you think this shirt makes me look chubby? Oh, no, I'm not going in there. Uh-uh, no way. But this cave has really big, cool, gnarly bugs. How bad can it be? Somebody call an exterminator! A big exterminator! Oh, what a tangled web we weave! When first we practice to deceive! Just get me out of here! <laughs> Think you could save me a little faster next time? This isn't so bad after all. Your senses, Timon! This time you've got to tell King Leopold the truth! Oh, sure. I'll tell him. As soon as you help me find my lips. Eh, uh, uh, what was the truth again? We didn't rescue his daughter in the first place, so we don't deserve the reward of being her bodyguards. Oh, yeah. You see, I'm busy! Sorry to interrupt you, but, uh... You have no complaints about your job, I trust. <laughs> oh, no, no, great job. Love it, actually. Uh, that is, we, uh... You are trying my patience! Now, what is it that you want? Eh, uh, you want change for a dollar? Oh, no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no pockets. Me either. Bye-bye. Do you have the correct time? See, this watch thing stopped. It was probably the rock slide. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hey, read any good books lately? <laughs> this better be good. Ah, uh, can I borrow a cup of sugar? Oh yeah, of course, sugar bad for the teeth. I'm sorry. I uh, better get back. <laughs> Bye. Oh. You really know how to pick a princess. Where exactly are we? It's the sacred forbidden burial ground of the bull elephant. It's got a really cool curse on it. Which would be? River mine. Oh, 
<laughs> Scary or what? Leopold, I can't take it anymore. Pumba and I didn't save your daughter from that hyena. We're yellow, spineless, lily-livered cowards. There, I said it. Go ahead and tear us limb from limb. I don't care anymore. At least it'll be quick. It will, won't it? Too quick, too quick! Timon, I am impressed. Huh? <laughs> if there's one thing I admire more than courage, it's honesty. Now that wasn't so bad, was it, Timon? No, Pumba, it wasn't. You've been right all along. The truth is rewarding. In fact, you have set such a fine example for my daughter, I'm gonna give you a promotion. See, Pumba, what did I tell you? I want you to look after my two boys. You see, my daughter's a bit of a daredevil. <laughs> but uh, she is an angel compared to them. Egypt. I can't tell you how long I've wanted to visit this place. Me too, Timon. And thanks to my handy travel guidebook, I've got our entire trip all planned out. We're going to visit glorious ruins, shop in charming casbahs, frolic amid the sand dunes, get to know an ancient civilization intimately. Who oh, needs it? Listen, I came here for the beetles. Scarab beetles. The tastiest, crunchiest, most delectablest bug in all the world. Sounds yummy, Timon, but frolicking in the sand was going to be the highlight of my trip. Pumba, my porcine pal, there's an ancient Arabian proverb. Neither warthog nor meerkat shall frolic on an empty stomach. First we eat, then we frolic. Oh, goody. Nothing makes me happier than warm, scrunchy sand nestled between my toes. Right, right. Let's track down those beetles. Uh-oh. There's something in my handy travel guidebook that you should know, Timon. I am not the least bit interested in what it says in that ridiculous book, Pumba. If we are to succeed, you must follow me. But, Timon... Come here, you tasty morsel. Come on. Ha -ha! Gotcha. Say, Pumba, why the long fez? Never mind my hat. <laughs> Timon, you just broke one of the most ancient laws of ancient Egypt. I did? What do you mean? Look. Eating the sacred scarab beetle of ancient Egypt is punishable by spending eternity locked inside a musty old pyramid. Yeah, right. Like, that's really going to happen. Yeah. For eating the sacred scarab beetle, I, Tutan Pharaoh, sentence you to spend eternity locked in a musty old pyramid. Eh, uh, you talking to us? <laughs> Whew! Good thing this tomb has a nightlight. Nightlight? Nightlight? We are locked inside a pyramid with no hope of escape, and all you can say is, good thing we have a nightlight? Hey, look! Funny hat! How did we end up in this mess? How? Oh, How? Hmm, let's see. Could it be because you ignored my advice? Nah. Listen, Pumba, we gotta get out of here. I'm claustrophobic. Uh, let's see what it says in my handy guidebook. I am sick of your stupid guidebook. Sick, sick, sick of it. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Uh, I'm standing right here, Tomo. If we could just hit that lever with something heavy. Hey, my handy guidebook. Pumba, Pumba. Yeah, that is no chance of... Working. 
You gotta admit, Timon, my guidebook did come in handy. That's probably why they call it the Handy Travel Guidebook. What does it say, Timon? How should I know? I'm only dressed like an archaeologist. Lucky for us, my handy guidebook contains a hieroglyphic dictionary. Somehow I knew it would. <laughs> oh no! What? What? It says, whoever passes through this chamber shall incur the mummy's curse. Oh, come on, you big baby. <laughs> The guidebook says this chamber is cursed. Oh, but that book is ruining our fun. I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a mummy's curse. I want my mummy. Which one is yours, Timon? Eh, uh, Pumba, could I interest you in running like your life depended on it? Well, see now, Timon, you never listen to my advice, but I often take your advice. For example, this situation. Uh, Pumba. Run! From now on, you are going to listen to my advice. There's not gonna be any from now on. <laughs> the horror, the stench. Yeah, uh, we gotta open a window. <laughs> I never thought fresh air could smell so good. Uh, I wouldn't know. Uh, Jamon, I think we took a wrong turn. We better go this way. No, Pumba, we're going that way. Jamon, my handy travel guidebook says this way is safer. Now you know what happens when you don't follow my advice. Pumba, I follow my instincts, my sixth and seventh senses, things you couldn't possibly understand. I gotta agree with you there. How did two camel humps like you get into my harem? Uh, two for one sale? <laughs> Careful, Simone! That column doesn't look very sturdy! Pumba, it's solid granite. It's not like it's gonna topple over, starting a domino chain reaction, destroying the entire temple. Timon, you're starting to hurt my feelings. Could you maybe listen to me once? Just once? No. <laughs> Lessons. This could be awfully dangerous. Dangerous? Mountain climbing? Come on, Pumba, quit being such a. <laughs> 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 Tuesdays on the Arrow Faction, and my tongue matches my shirt because I just had a lollipop before filming for some reason. 
I am sorry. This week's theme on Arrow Faction is favorite dance moves. I am not a dancer and very uncoordinated and unbalanced, so I'm just gonna be showing y'all five of my favorite dance moves, I guess. Okay, so uh, there they are. Got number one. Okay, I'm actually a really bad dancer. So don't make fun of me. I honestly, like, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Look, Pumba, an oasis. That's odd. It's not listed in my handy travel guide. We'd better proceed with caution, Timon. Yeah, sure, like it's some kind of trap or something. Two ton Pharaoh sentence you to spend eternity in a musty old pyramid again. We'll never escape now. Maybe we will if you'll just listen to me. Quiet, Pumba. I'm trying to think. Will you listen to me? Did you say something? Listen to me! Yeesh, okay, okay. Timon, you think you know everything, but you're living in denial over the fact that I know lots of important things, too. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, for example, this. So? Timon, these are the pyramid blueprints. There's an elevator leading to a secret escape hatch. We could use it to escape eternity locked in this musty old pyramid. Oh, all right. Going up! <laughs> 789th floor, seasonal notions, ladies' undergarments, and secret escape hatch. supposed to get down from here. You brought a sled to Egypt? That's right. Maybe next time we travel, you'll ask my advice on what to bring. That I will, Pumba. That I will. 